Hello friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Koboman. In today's video, I am talking about save files to delete within a local profile. So you will get this ticket or this type of ticket in a help desk environment if a user starts to run out of space. This usually happens with older hardware. I want to say something that's like five years or four years old. What happened was during that time, they were starting to install solid state drives, but solid state drives were a bit more expensive. So to keep the cost down, what they did was put in small hard drives inside of it, like 120 gigabytes or so. So by the time you install everything on it, like programs and everything else, the user will quickly start to run out of space on the local profile. So in this video, I will show you which files and folders are safe to delete within it. Oh, I almost forgot. If you got one second, please click the like button. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. You're awesome. Thank you. So I actually got this question from one of my viewers, and this is what he said. He said, hey man, I got a question. Can I delete app data, Apple compute, mobile sync backup folder? There are two folders. Uh, can I delete what's inside of them because they are 24 gigabytes plus? So he was asking this, or he or she was asking this because you know they wanted to make space on their hard drive. So for example, let's say you have a hard drive like this one here and it's only 120 gigabytes and you only have 37 gigabytes free and now you want to install a new program or a video game or something and uh, you can't because there is not enough space so now you're looking for ways to make space on your hard drive so that way you can install that program or a video game or maybe you just you know wanted to make free space so I wanted to really talk about this from a tech support point of view meaning that you got to be very careful on the things that you delete and you got to use a lot of common sense but yes you can delete some things from app data folder which i will show you where it's at uh, because a lot of times it can take up a certain amount of space for example i mean in in, in his case in this case this person uh, wanted to free up 24 gigabytes of space which is quite a lot as you may imagine so be very careful if you're going to do this and i will explain to you and uh, why it is important to uh, not just kind of rush into things and delete everything that you see especially in app data folder all right guys if you don't mind take a second here uh, to click the like button i really appreciate it and if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments um, the reason I'm asking this because I'm not going to play an ad here like uh, some people might. So if you're going to spend one second to click that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get back into it. And let's go ahead and look at app data folder. So what what, what is this person talking about? There is a an app data folder that's located in your local profile. So if you open up your hard drive and it's in the root of C, so if you're literally just opened it up, this is called root of C for people that are not familiar with computers. And inside of it, there is a folder called users. If you select that and you open it up, you will see that there are a bunch of different names and you will probably see something that is very familiar to you. What you're looking at here are basically local profiles that you use and anybody else that uses this computer. So if you have your own login, chances are you're going to see your own local profile inside of this computer so let's go ahead and look at this one here that is called buco so we can right away see that this folder here is taking up 43 gigabytes um, in in space so there's definitely space we can uh, free up in there in case you want to again you got to be careful so if we go inside of this here is that app data folder that we were talking about earlier the app data folder holds data that is literally for apps so Pretty much anything from uh, configuration to uh, files being stored. See, in this case, he was talking about a folder called Backup. And inside of that Backup, there were two other folders that had 24 gigabytes. So that means that, in this case, Apple uses that location in App Data to create uh, those two storage points. And most likely were just some kind of backups for that software. So 
What I told them is that, hey, if you're not using that program anymore, you can go ahead and delete it. So let's look at an example of that. And I don't have Apple installed in here, but we can look at other things that we may want to delete. Generally speaking, if you no longer want to use any of the programs or you have removed the program uh, and you see a name of it in here, you can literally just go in and delete them. Anything that you see here, as long as you already know that you are not going to use it or you have it uninstalled it, you can remove any remnants of it. So here I can see there is an ATI folder. I don't need that. Uh, if you see Blizzard folder, I don't need that. Blizzard Entertainment folder, I don't need that. So I'll go ahead and select those and I'm going to hit delete. Of course, if you have ATI folder in there and you have an AMD video card, or a graphics card, do not delete that folder because you may be deleting some configuration files and any files that may be required to simply run properly. So, and there is a, a, some other things we can look at in here. So let's go down. What is this? CEF. I have no clue what this is, to be honest. So by default, if you have no idea what it is, leave it alone. There's one here that's called comms. I have no idea what that is, so I'm going to leave it alone. And there is another one here that's Connect Devices Platform. I have no idea what that is, so I'm going to leave it alone. You get the idea here? You don't want to start deleting things that you're not familiar with. However, if you know for sure that something is no longer on your computer, no longer needed, then you can certainly delete it. So here's an example of something that kind of looks like we could delete and it says downloaded installation so what could this be the only thing i can think of here is that there you know this might be something that is downloaded simply on your computer as it says and it just created a temporary location for it and sure enough this is a tp link plc utility and I no longer need that so i'm going to delete that but i'm not going to delete the entire folder i'm just going to delete what's inside of it so in case the system is using uh, this uh, folder which i kind of doubt microsoft wouldn't do this so in that case i'm going to delete that as well so here's a google folder and we can see that it's taking up 561 megabytes of data we don't want to delete that if you have Google Chrome installed on your computer. Because see, here's what happens. If you go inside of it, and then you go to Chrome folder, and then you can see user data, we don't want to delete user data. Do you want to delete all of your cached uh, files, all of your cached uh, passwords, your, uh, for example, your, uh, whatchamacallit, um, bookmarks? See, there is a bookmark file right here. If you delete that, then you're going to lose your bookmark. Here's a cookies of a uh, file if you delete that you're going to lose all your cookies we don't want to delete that unless you're doing some kind of troubleshooting with google chrome but in this case we're only talking about making space on your computer so this is as you've noticed this is totally different from basic stuff uh, that you could normally do when it comes to freeing up space yes you can do other stuff like uh, so you can look at the you know if you look at the recycle bin here you can go inside and delete everything that's in there for example you know just empty it this and that and it's going to make more space and that's not what i'm talking about here this video is specifically making more space um, in in some other ways that are not typically available by default um, through windows uh, operating system so going down the line uh, there is a Microsoft. We don't necessarily want to go and delete in here, but let's have a look what's inside of Microsoft folder. We can see that all of these things are part of Microsoft. So yeah, I'm not going to delete any of this stuff because maybe it may break my Windows operating system. There's Microsoft Touch. You probably don't want to delete that either. Here's the NVIDIA one. And I, since I don't have NVIDIA installed on my computer, I'm going to delete that. Here's another one. It's called The Witcher 2. And it's, a, it's an empty folder. It does have a temp folder inside of it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. So the point of this video is, yes, you can go inside of app data and look for things that you don't use that may be taking up a lots of space and then you can delete them. Just make sure that you are no longer going to use those programs uh, that may be they may require those app data files and that's part in local but you can also go into roaming and see if there's anything inside of that to delete and then here it is i'm just going to go ahead and delete the uh the one that was called ati i'm going to delete uh, let's see nvidia one like we did 
and so on and so forth. Just be very careful. Here's a good example of this because it may hold configuration data like this VLC folder. And I know I'm using VLC still. Let's see, where is my VLC? Here's my VLC media player. So I know my VLC is going to use this configuration data and you can see that it's literally called configuration settings. So yeah, you don't want to delete this because you still need to use your VLC. So be very, very careful, guys. But yes, you can make space in, on your computer uh, to you know, delete more things. Of course, aside from app data, you can go to desktop and you can see the desktop has 3.83 gigabytes of storage. You can go to your documents and there'll be more stuff. You can go to your downloads. And wow, downloads has a lot. What is this? Oh, this is when I was downloading this. Uh, they had uh, they had a basically educational version of Windows Server 2016. Oh yeah, I want to delete that. Those were those are huge files. That's a lot of space saved right there. Um, of course, I want to empty my recycle bin so that way it actually does empty all that space. All right, so that's just one thing you can do when it comes to local user profile. There are other folders you can look into, but I just wanted to give you an idea of things that you might, you may be able to down, uh, download, <laughs> that you may be able to delete without getting in trouble or breaking your computer. Here's another one, it's called Windows Old, and I can delete that. That happened, oh, it's no longer. Okay, well, whatever. So, um, yeah, there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, feel free to ask him. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's see how much space did I save real quick before I take off. All right, that's not bad. I think we started off with 37 gigabytes, and now we have 50 gigabytes of free data. Again, please be careful when you do this stuff. If you have any questions, ask me, and I'll be glad to help you. All right, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. Just make sure you don't delete everything that you see in there and kind of use the logic that I showed you within this video. I hope you like this video. Please take one second to like it. Thank you so much and have a good day.